Well, we've survived till day three. It's actually quite cool here. It's about 30 degrees all day and all night, which is awesome. We get used to it pretty quick. Yeah, as you can see, there's fans going on and stuff. We've just had a chilled out day. I mean, yeah, just chilled out. We're gonna go down the street, do some things, and yeah. I'm gonna walk around in circles tomorrow and make you dizzy. Stay awesome. And we're on. We're about to cross a road. This is Port Douglas. I am Ben. And this, I'm Bridget. And this is day three. Behind us is a train in a cage. I think it was naughty. They have to lock it up. It's a wear train. It comes out at night on a full moon. Turn around and I'll show you the bridge we're about to cross. It's crocodiles being seen in that water. They have. My brother lives here. And yes, he has seen crocodiles in that water and it's not just one of those urban things. Anywhere there's water up here, especially if it's murky coloured like so, chances are they could be, they could not be right now, but don't take the chance, basically. Cassowaries generally stay away from people, they're, the, they're very similar to a velociraptor, they will unzip you with their claw, insides out, but only if they're threatened, they'll generally stay away from people, so just slowly back off. If you panic and run, uh, they might chase you, because they might go, oh, threat, even though you're running the other way, I don't know. Bird brain. Stay awesome. Hi, we're gonna need a box for Bridget to stand on because she looks really short. <laughs> it's just the camera angle, I assure you. She is short, but you know, not as short as the camera looks makes her look to be. We're heading down past the marina towards a car that I'm about to walk into, so let's head this way. And yeah, we're just enjoying stuff. And, and yeah, views. views. How's the serenity? There's Bridget. Hello. Having fun? Yes. Cool, look at that, I'm walking without my stick. Great weather up here. Great for my arthritis, I'll tell you that much. It's really cool. Over behind us, about there, that building directly behind my finger, is where you're gonna get seafood from, fresh off the boat. It's pretty cool. I'll just do a U-boltation and show you around behind me to show you that's not the main street. I got confused, it's the next one along. Where's Biddy? Where's Bridget? Where's Bridget? There she is. Okay. so short in this camera angle. There's lots of these going around, Quicksilver. Look, someone's getting married. There's a wedding over there. Oh, the church. Uh, behind my finger. Follow the line directly back. Behind us we have the courthouse, courthouse Hotel that's been there since the dawn of time. Uh, Bridget's dad came here in the 1970s and yeah, he remembers that. Not a lot else was here at the time apparently. But yeah, if you look directly behind us, there's an arcade there. Some cool, some cool shops up there. Yeah, I don't want to give too much away because you've got to come down and check it out for yourselves. Yeah, now we're finally at the main street. I'll just let Bridget catch up. And she walks off the camera again. There we are. Yeah, we're finally at the main street now. I'll just face towards the main street so you guys can see it. Yeah. Now we'll walk up the main street. Now we're actually walking up to a really cool pub here. They do cane toad chasing. Cane toads were an introduced species to stop the cane beetle when sugar cane became big. And then they become an invasive species themselves. So yeah, they actually do uh, cane toad races here. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Five dollars entry. We have to check that out. Yeah, this one here, the Central Hotel, that's actually a really good one. Everything's reasonably priced. Not, this is one of the places that's definitely not a tourist trap. And yeah, you can get good good meals for, between certain times. You'll see the sign in a second, I think. Yeah, there we go. Pretty good deals there. But before 6 p.m., I believe. Um, yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, dinner 5 to 9 p.m. And those deals are between 5 and 6 p.m. And we'll catch you all next time. Yeah. And as we walk up here, we've got a Target Country. And we've also got a Coles. And a couple of bottle shops. So, something for everyone. 